All right, Dan, thanks so much for doing the podcast with me about your program. Explain to our viewers, what does RDAP stand for? RDAP stands for Residential Drug Addiction Program, which is a 500-hour cognitive-based program that takes place in federal prison. So when you say RDAP, Dan, are there other RDAP Aaron, RDAP Joe, RDAP Lisa, or is that just how you adapted it for you and the consulting business that you do? So for me, it started as a joke. Uh, once I got released from federal prison, I was in the federal halfway house. And in the federal halfway house, so when you complete RDAP in prison, you your sentence is re reduced by a year. And you're given X amount of halfway house because you graduated RDAP. If while you're in the halfway house, if you violate those terms in the halfway house, not only can you go back to prison, but they take the year back that they gave you. So you could mm -hmm. technically, in my situation, I would have went back to prison for two years if I had violated. So constantly in the halfway house, people are drinking alcohol and smoking weed and spice and you name it. And they're always trying to pass it around to me. And I'm always like, no, man, I did RDAP. I can't risk it. So the joke, they started going, oh, that's RDAP Dan. Don't give him anything. Uh, and it just stuck. <laughs> Nice, nice. I love that. So how did you, um, you know, stay? Was it just a, a personal sense of you're wanting to be out of there? Or did you already have the idea that you were going to turn this into helping people? Because it's really difficult to say no when it's, you know, all around you and people are really, you know, the peer pressure thing. You know, it, it was very hard. And I had to learn to stop making excuses for why I couldn't do something. Because when you make an excuse, you kind of stall it for that moment, but then they come back to you the next day and ask you the same question again, and you're constantly putting yourself into a situation. So one of the, the, one of the big focuses in RDAP was holding each other to higher standards. Uh, if, if I'm your friend and you and I are best friends and you and your husband divorce and you cheated on your husband and he's leaving you and you're like, I can't believe this son of a, you know what is leaving me. He's taking my kids. My job as your friend would be like, well, what role did you play in this and what would you have done differently if you could do it over again? Mm. Sometimes holding people to that standard will cause, and that will show you who your real friends are. Uh, I started to live my life as I'm going to tell people what I think they should hear versus what they want to hear. And I encourage people to do the same thing with me. So while I was in RDAP, when somebody would ask me to do something like, Hey, wise, do you want me to give you a ride to work when I'm not allowed to get in somebody else's car? I would say to them, I'm not allowed to get in your car. And if we get caught doing that, we're both in trouble. So I don't put me in that situation because I don't even want to know what you're doing because I'm letting you know right now, I'll be the first person. If they come ask me, did you know he was driving? I'm going to assume they already know the answer to that. And I'm not going to lie to cover for you. So people started to identify as don't do anything dumb around this guy because <laughs> he's likely to tell on you if he gets called into it. I'm never going to prison again uh, if I can help it. Right, exactly. And just so our viewers know, we did a great podcast with Dan Wise. He's got an excellent company. We're going to have him talk about that in just a second. But um, we did a really in-depth podcast about everything that he is talking about. And Dan, just you know, for our viewers to see, what is it that your company does? And how soon did you launch your company after you got out of prison? So uh, the name of the company is Federal Prison Time Consulting. Uh, I was sent to prison in 2014 of September. I was sentenced to 42 months. And by the grace of God and some hard work and really putting effort into areas that I didn't know if they were going to pan out or not, I ended up only serving 13 months. And that was mostly because of, you know, in the federal system, you serve 85% of your time. So I received six months of good time. I qualified for the residential drug addiction program, which reduced my sentence by an additional year on top of that. And then I also qualify for what's called Second Chance Act, where I was given 11 months federal halfway house. So I started making videos. Well, I made my first video before I went to prison. Three days before I went in, I posted a quick video on YouTube, just kind of saying, I'm going to federal prison and I don't know what to expect. Getting out of federal prison, saw that video with some traffic in 2015 of October, and I immediately started posting response videos just saying, hey, this is what it was really like. This is what I could have done differently. This is how RDAP works. 
people started calling me up, started emailing me, started sending me donations, started sending me thank you emails. Mm -hmm. And I just got the idea. I said, uh, babe, to my girlfriend at the time, Shelly, my fiance now, I said, uh, I think I'm going to quit my job. And I was making about $60,000 a year working for a company based out of Florida. She said, to do what? I said, I, I, th I think I'm going to be a prison consultant. She's like, well, who are you going to work for? I said, I'm going to, I'm going to work for myself. And she was very nervous, you know, because I was walking away from a guaranteed source of income to, to really right to live the out entrepreneur life and yeah. something that is that really going to work? Yeah. It was a struggle. It didn't work overnight. You know, she had to foot the bills for about a year while we were building the business. You know, we were maybe making six, $700 a month initially. Right. Uh, and, and it's finally grown into a, into a very, very nice business model that we get to help some amazing people. And everybody here is prison consulting and they automatically jump to the movie with uh, Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. I think the movie's called Get Hard. And they're like, so you help people prepare for prison. Does that mean like how they don't get beat up and not to get stabbed and how they don't get raped in prison? And I said, I wish it was that because that would be a lot more fun and entertaining than what I actually do. Um, the reality is my job to the outside world is pretty boring. I help people with how they should prepare their narratives and character reference letters and how they should address the judge, how they can prepare for sentencing, how they can deal with their children, how they can take more accountability. Basically, we want people to, to appear different than what the judge is used to seeing. You know, mm -hmm. when you're a white collar individual or a nonviolent offender, you start to compare yourself saying, well, I didn't murder anybody. I didn't rape anybody. So the judge is going to see that I'm a good guy and the universe is going to correct itself and I'm not going to go to prison. Right. doesn't work that way. Mm. So how do you work at something I you know, at, wanted you to save your answer for the YouTube video? You and I had talked about, you know, how do you help people that are that have a ten million dollar a year salary? So they maybe if if you know a lot of it hasn't been seized, they could afford your services as opposed to people who absolutely can't afford your services. How do you make it so that everybody can be someone that you can work with? Um, so there's a couple of different ways uh, for the people that truly cannot afford it. For the people that do not have two nickels to rub together, whether the feds took their money or they're just unemployed and they're flat out broke. Uh, I do believe our pricing is priced enough to where if they actually truly saw the value, they would find a way to come up with the funds just from what we've seen in the past. And our pricing ranges as depending on what services we're offering, it ranges as low as $2,500 and it goes up to about $7,000. Mm. <laughs> Other individuals in the industry in the same space as us, they primarily target I like to use the word prey. They prey on white collar individuals because they know they probably just got done paying high six figures for their legal defense. So they're charging them fifteen to thirty thousand dollars, not doing nearly the amount of work that we do. And I came from a blue collar background financial status. My crime was white collar, but my financial status was blue collar. So when I reached out to a lot of these consultants prior to going to prison, the minute they found out I did not have the ten, fifteen thousand dollar fee they were asking for, immediately the call was over. And right. when I got out of go ahead, what were you gonna say? No, I was just saying I can totally see that happening. Absolutely. And I understand, you know, everybody's, look, your value is what you do, what you put into it. So I understand, is it worth $20,000 to possibly avoid going to prison? Absolutely. But can everybody afford that? Absolutely not. And the reality is, is whether you're a white collar, $10 million a year individual, or you're a first time nonviolent offender guy that got caught with, you know, you're, you're the drug guy that was driving the drugs, making a couple thousand dollars a month. The reality of what you're about to face is exactly the same. The unknown, dealing with your family, you're going to go to the same type of prison. So there's really no difference in how you prepare somebody that's willing to take it serious. Now, we do have sponsors from time to time that will make donations so we can help individuals that really have nothing. But you'll find out a lot of these individuals that do not pay anything they don't put any of the work. They don't return calls. They don't do the work that's necessary. So we've stopped the sponsorship program because we were getting paid, but the client wasn't putting in any effort. So we, we stopped doing that. Mm, good for you. Yeah. Enabling. It's a killer. <laughs> 
Well, thank you so much for agreeing to do this and um, tell our listeners where they can find out more about you. Absolutely. Since you're here on YouTube already, come over and hop on to my channel, uh, RDAP Dan. That's R D A P D A N. We have the largest YouTube channel for prison consulting, prison preparation. If you're facing something in your life, whether it's federal or state, and you don't know where to turn, you know, our motto is people helping people, communities method, one day at a time. Check us out on our YouTube channel. Website is rdapdan.com. Pretty much everywhere at social media at rdapdan. And feel free to give me a call or a text, 509-434-4695. Fantastic. Thanks, viewers, for tuning in. And please check out the podcast that goes with this. We went into way more detail there. You can go to mentalhealthnewsradio.com to find that out. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.